99 Jams, your girl Super Cindy, and live in the studio, I'm here with my girl Tifa. Hi, Super. What's up? Hey, girl. Or like the Latinos would say, Tifa. Tifa. <laughs> Hi, Tifa. <No. laughs> what you been up to, girl? I've been seeing you make mad moves. Congratulations on everything. 2020 is looking really good. Thank you. Thank you. It's been awesome so far. We had our first release. Um, Mana Comeback, that's on the silent projects officially mm-hmm. out today, Valentine's mm-hmm. Day. Woo, woo, woo. So it's doing really, really well. Um, mm-hmm. We started our promo kickoff last week in New York. We did all major stations, every dance, that's what we call it in Jamaica, party, dance, yes. weekly event. Like we've just been grinding and working and we're here today. Yes, yes. 99 Jams Miami, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to get it real deep with you because, you know, a lot of people may have heard your music Mm -hmm. but just don't know you personally because we can know so much by social media but how much do we really know so (laughs) i'm digging girl i'm getting the dirt (laughs) so in your opinion how would you tell everybody who is tiffa i don't know i'm I'm still searching i'm still trying to find out i love that (laughs) who this crazy person is (laughs) where did you grow up and like where were you born and raised i was born and raised in kingston jamaica Mm -hmm. um downtown kingston which is like the hood for Mm y'all and then you know your parents make some money and you move uptown yeah which is like the suburbs for you all so like i have yeah um i spent a bit of time in canada also Oh, I love when Canada. I was younger. Yeah, I did mm-hmm. my first surgery there. So yeah, it's like a melting pot of everything. I love that. So you know, they say 2020 is the year of the woman, right? Mm-hmm. And we've been able in the United States as women been able to vote for about a hundred years now. Mm-hmm. So as a woman in music, um, what are some of the barriers that you've seen that have been broken down that you've noticed um, in your career? How long have you been doing this? Been doing this a very long time, over ten years. Um, I like the fact that there's more of us. Okay. In the past, it used to be just one person per era or per this particular time, and there's a lot of us, like, with the advent of social media, there's a lot of us coming up now, and not only in music. Mm-hmm. Um, we're branching out in a lot of things. A lot of us are entrepreneurs. A lot of us have lines, so on and so forth. Shameless prog. I'm going to be coming out in a series. Hello. Um, we're we're going to talk about that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we're doing acting. We're doing a lot of things. I mean, social media is the devil, but it's mm-hmm. one of the greatest things that was ever invented because you get a chance to see more of us. Yes. Yeah. And you know, like, I might sound super ignorant, mm-hmm. but like, it seemed as if men crossed over as far as, you know, dance hall reggae music to the U.S. Mm-hmm. more easily than women. Like, as far as women, what I truly remember is maybe Patra, mm-hmm. and I'm going back, mm-hmm. Lady Saw, mm-hmm. and I'm sure there's more, but like, off the top of my brain, as far as crossing over that their music was in rotation There's definitely in more the men. There's definitely more men, because mm-hmm. when, you, when, you, when you check the stats and the facts, as you said, yeah. the Champa, the Shaggy, the Cabra, the, yep. the Shabba, the, you know what I mean? as opposed to some of those names that you just call and yeah. more recently the coffees yeah so, I mean, congratulations to her yeah, she got congrats, a grammy coffee. that's a door open for you guys yes as well. yes yes that yes. was huge big ups to coffee um so i'm just happy and excited about that now they're looking mm-hmm. now because of even that they're looking to see okay on what's radar. going on down there and i've just been blessed to be positioned in the right place okay. at the right time so give thanks 10 years of hard work and you're like okay i'm here now yes ma'am and get the radar i'm i'm here <laughs> jumping in the radar i'm here i love that so do as you just said social media has helped from the time you started 10 years ago what was that like myspace era yeah right? myspace and facebook era mm-hmm. that's that that was you know what i mean so even though you know you were posting pictures it wasn't so prevalent as yeah. the instagram now you're seeing things in real time you know what i mean before it used to be like oh cindy went to disney <laughs> and we had to wait. Now we can watch your stories in real time Hello, and see time. when you get off the plane, when Tip you get into Disney. Disney. Exactly. <laughs> Showing off, looking cute. Um, your last project you put out was an album called Curry Goat. And Champagne. Yes, Curry Goat and Champagne. So describe that album. All right, Curry Goat and Champagne. And was... why that title? <laughs> Curry Goat and Champagne was because of... My upbringing. Mm-hmm. As I told you, I had part, part upbringing in Jamaica and part upbringing in Canada. Okay. So it was a, like, as I say, a melting pot. So the curry goat side, of course, you know, when you talk about Jamaica, you talk about food, you talk about yeah. jerk chicken, you talk about curry goat. Yes. The curry goat side of the album was the Jamaican side of the album. Okay. And the champagne side was more of the international side of the album. So it was a giant album. So I was giving you the dance or reggae on one side and I was giving you the R&B hip hop on the other side just to show you. How fire is that? Who came <laughs> up with that concept? I did. 
Okay, girl. <laughs> I like that. And but have you ever had curry goat while drinking champagne? Yes. Is it a good mixture? Yes. Okay, I got to try yes. that. <laughs> I love me some curry. I don't know about the goat part, but I love me some curry. So we also heard that you're getting into acting, as you just said. You talked about that. Mm-hmm. Talk about your project that you're acting in. All right, so it's a new series. It's going to come on a major streaming platform, one of the major streaming platforms. It's called For Little Girls Who Are Afraid to Speak. Mm, so it what? touches that title exactly. alone. So it touches on channel station. It touches on, you know, things that are happening to kids. In, in the Caribbean, you know, worldwide and, you know, mm. little girls that have lived with the secret of being molested or being raped or, you know what I mean, for... And this so, is not a reality show, it's, it's acting? No, it's actually acting. It's actually a series. I'm happy to be a part of it because it's it's actually... I think they've signed on for four seasons, but the first season is... Mm. The setting is in Jamaica, actually. So I'm happy that they casted Jamaicans myself. Hello, not not American or UK actors <laughs> acting exactly. with the accent. My, there are American actors. Yes. Shout out to, because it's an all-star cast. I'm really proud to be a part of it. There are actors from Game of Thrones, from SWAT, Hello. from you name it. But, you know, big up to myself and Sheldon Shepard that are in the mix you know what I mean? To kind of guide you with the right the right accent. Okay. And you, you gave them tips too, right? <laughs> Definitely. So um, I leave next month again to start filming. It hasn't started filming Some yet. of it has. Okay. So I leave next month again to start filming again, but I'm I'm really excited about it. That sounds amazing. Can you at least tell us what your, who your character is? I'm a villain. Is? I'm a bad person in the... Boy, oh... Did you like playing a villain? Yes, I'm happy that they didn't give me like the sappy, you know. Yeah, crying all the yeah, time. Yeah, I get to, I get to, like she's real turn up. You're a gangster. Yeah, she's real, real turn up. Oh, I love it. And and like, what about the wardrobe that you're wearing as a oh, villain? Oh, they Is ask, it... or like, do you like this lipstick? Do you like this wig? Do you like what do you think? Like, they've been asking my input mm-hmm. on it because they know like I'm into wigs and I'm into yeah. you know what I mean. So it's been it's been awesome so far. I can't wait. I can't wait to see that. And have you acted before, before this um, series? Yes. Most people don't know that I went to performing arts school. I am formally trained in singing, dancing, and acting. So it was a little bit easy for me when they approached me. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because I do have the background in it. Oh, so that's perfect. You just said it at the beginning of this interview. Ten years, you have literally set yourself up for everything that's manifesting now in 2020. Give thanks. How amazing. Give thanks. Yay, I'm happy <laughs> for you. So you talked about already the your your project, Mana Come Back. Mm-hmm. Speak on that some more. Mana Come Back basically was written last year because at the time the man I had was coming back. Hello. So. <laughs> Don't they always come back, girl? They think so. it's greener over there and then they always come back. <laughs> so that, that's basically just a true to life story. Um, mm-hmm. They sent me the beat. Big up to really A team on Paul Platinum. They seen me there. They sent me the beat. Mm-hmm. Um, it actually has remnants of the Whisper song by, by Ying Yang Ooh, Twins. I was just talking about that song earlier. <laughs> yeah. I love that. So you're like whispering in it? No, when they sent it to me, I was just like, you know what? It's a long time since y'all got a dancehall artist, especially a female dancehall mm-hmm. artist, kicking the 90s flow. Hello. I don't see it the way me have I made the man a comeback. Hey. Yeah. When well, you used to sound like... when they were banging the wall. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Hello. I was at Lime Key and Kendall. I know what you're talking about. So go ahead. <laughs> so I was just like, yo, let me kick it to them. 90s. Let me just kick a 90s flow on it. And everybody Ooh. loved it. And the response has been overwhelming. And... I just got to give thanks. It's been awesome. When does that song come? Is it out it's already? It's out. And oh, the whole entire I project hear it. is mm-hmm. out today. Um, Rele A-Team and Paul and Destine, they just sent me a, um, a video. Mm-hmm. The, the the thingy went up in Times Square. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> so we have this big promo in Times Square. So it's, I mean, New York has really gravitated towards it. So definitely Florida, it's your time. Hello. And where can we find this song or the mu- the project? It's where do we go? every single Platform, platform Apple Tidal Spotify you name it it's yeah and we just look up Mana Come Back Mana Come Back <laughs> by Tifa on the Silent Project soon to be on 99 Gems hopefully <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> I know Waggy T is going to pick up on it first and then he'll talk to us the, the, the people who are here during the daytime that don't know what's going on Definitely. and basically pick it up for you so what's mm-hmm. next for Tifa I mean 2020 is looking so beautiful for you mm-hmm. and like I said when you walked in here your Instagram I know everybody's Instagram looks amazing but yours is truly like on fire right now <laughs> thank you what's coming up in 2020 for um, you more singles more mm-hmm. tours um i think it's next week i have another single dropping it's with okay. a i can't say much but it's a big it's a big african artist 
Oh. So I'm excited about that. It's called Paradise. I'm excited about that release also. I love that. So you're mixing the Jamaican vibes with the Afrobeat. Definitely. Oh, what does that sound like? A little it teaser sounds, or something? Very, you don't got to tell us who it's with, it's but... It's very sexy. Mm. Take a trip in, I'm a paradise, paradise, paradise. Me like it long. Take an extended vacation. It nice. Okay, up. I'm done with the vacation. <laughs> Let's go. And um, where can people follow all of your movements, Tiffa? All of my movements, social media, it's the same thing for everything. It's at It's the Tiffa, at I-T-S-T-H-E-T-I-F-A. It's, it's the, the Tiffa. Tiffa. Exactly. It's the Tiffa, I T S. T H E T I F A. And what about like, I don't like, I don't want people to put you in a box and it mm-hmm. seems like you're not letting that. I feel like once the, the I was about to say Netflix, you didn't say what streaming <laughs> platform, I apologize for that. But once the show comes out on the streaming platform, mm-hmm. it's going to open doors for you in different people that probably never heard of your music or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like, are you ready? I'm ready. This is all I've ever wanted. This mm-hmm. is all I've ever wanted since probably 12 years old. So I'm definitely, definitely ready, you know what I mean? Some people have the success overnight. Some people it takes 10 years. I guess this is this is my 10-year gift. Hello. So I'm just giving thanks right now. I'm just, I have no kids. I have no man. I'm just ready to work. You like, ready to work. I'm just ready to work. And cross over <laughs> yes. and be worldwide. And be worldwide. I love that. Make sure you follow my girl Tiffa. It's the Tiffa because I said so. Your girl Super Cindy. Tiffa in the building. Any last words before we sign out? I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> that was three kisses. It wasn't one, honey. Your girl Super Cindy, 99 Jams.